Good morning, everybody. Today is hump day. Today is Wednesday. I was about to say hump day, but Tuesday. So, guys, I'm, I took off today. Um, and also, I'm waiting for my lawyer to call me because one of my lawsuits might be finalized. Um, she told me to be one day this week, maybe Wednesday. So, I didn't want to be at work and miss her phone call. So, um... I decided I'm going to take today. I want to work in the yards. Um, grass need to be cut. Hedges need to be cut. I'm not doing that side because I don't know where the snake is. Um, I was like, I should go get some rain boots. Um, Walmart do have rain boots for $20. Um, but I do have the Crocs. And I'm like, the back of my foot might be out. So I don't know. So what I am going to pick up, I need to pick up the screws for the pallets and that's about all. Um, I need a skill saw. My dad gave me all of his tools. As I have told you guys, somebody took all of my dad things from me. So I have to go and buy a skill saw. So um, I have a, where my other, I have another saw, I have that one. Um, and my drill, I need a charge my drill. I don't want that to go out on me. Um, so I need to pull that out and my drill. Um, I keep that locked down, you know, things walk. So I need to go get my screws, that I need to do the palette. So I am gonna try to work on the palette today to get the whole entire thing done. I know I'm gonna have to get some, a bag of rocks and um, some stepping stones. I know of uh, some bricks. I know I'm gonna have to have those, but what I wanna do first is put the palette together. Also, um, I'm doing the bed on the side of the fence. So the boards are already out. Some of them I'm gonna have to cut to the size that I want. So um, that is what I'm gonna try to get accomplished today also. And to get the backyard cut and to get this spray out there. So when I get ready to really get into the nitty gritty, um, laying those boards for the top and stuff that I'm not getting bit up by mosquitoes, okay? So, and that be said, let me go get my drill so I can put the battery pack on it so I can make sure that is done. Let me get my, I'm, I'm saying skill salt, circular salt. That is what um, I want. Um, I have a skill salt. I went and picked up some new blades the other day at Lowe's. So let me go ahead and do that. And guys, I will meet y'all at probably Home Depot, maybe Lowe's, maybe Walmart. One of those, I'm gonna meet you out, okay? So today is work day. Project part one. <laughs> These are what we'll be coming back for, guys. And they are $5.98. So we'll be coming back for these. Found these. That's like plastic. Hey, guys. So I did not show you guys 
um, what I was doing. For the simple reason, the outside boards, I took my measurement and measured them at 30. I wanted to make sure they were going to be wide enough. And the long boards, guys, are 12 foot boards from Lowe's, and they are $8.98. The cool thing about this, guys, I already had the boards. So making these boxes only cost me for the screws. That's it. And my time. That is totally, that's all. So um, I made this one that I'm putting down. I made that one. I will put the measurements up on there. Look at me looking back. Yeah, this girl is doing it. So the next one, guys, is a little bit shorter for the simple reason. I know I was getting close to the um, mint bed, and I'm calling the mint bed, guys, because that mint went down about four years ago, and she flourished. She comes back every year, so we don't bother it. So this one, guys, is 10 foot long, so it is two feet a little bit shorter than the other one but i have to make a third box which the third box will be much smaller and i am making a third box because i am making a box that will box in the mint so here guys i am anchoring in together so i'm just running a screw from the second box into the first box so that's where they're anchored in So now guys, I'm going in on this other side. I did put a peg on the end of this board so I can anchor it into the second flower box. So I'm just going in, I'm gonna anchor it in. And then guys, I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm editing, I have already done it. You will see it close to the end of the video. I'm getting ready to tell you guys that I was done for today because it was hot. And don't y'all come for me because I know I have certain ones that's going to come for me. But guess what, guys? Y'all going to see it close to the end of what I did. Look at me jamming like, yes, my daddy taught me very well. And yes, I am looking for snakes. Yes, I am. Okay, guys. So I have gotten the boxes built. Um it's like two and a half boxes i have those built so now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and put my supposed to be weed protector down um i'm gonna put that down and go ahead and put the mulch down i have six bags of mulch just in case i don't have enough the mulch is still on sale so um i have enough of time to go and grab some more um now let me tell you what i did i went ahead on anchored the boxes I anchored the boxes and forgot my husband's smoker needed to go over in there. So um, my son is going to help me lift it. Hopefully that don't hurt this arm and my back. So we're going to lift it um, probably one up, one down and get it over in the spot. So I'm going to bring it farther over. He had it down some. So I'm going to bring it farther up. So I'll show you guys what we're going to do. Um, even I'm working my kids are like, Mama, you want some breakfast? They know this is part of my sanctuary, cleaning my house, working outside of the house and doing my yards. And I guarantee you when I'm done, y'all gonna be like, oh, she's the MVP. All right. So um, let me go ahead and put this down. I'm gonna show y'all this. Um, the make the boxes, I'm gonna give y'all the measurements and everything. I will put that in the description. Um, but other than that, guys, let me go ahead and put this down. So guys, I thought I was recording uh, me putting down the grass protector, but nevertheless, and I don't want anyone coming to me, why didn't you dig out of your grass? Because I did not want to. So I did not do it. So this is my yard, you are watching it, and I'm just giving you an idea of what you can do. So um, no, I did not cut the weeds out um, at the... The reveal probably you will probably see me put in plant poison down with weed poisoning so that is what I'm gonna do and I don't have to worry about it 
um this guys this mosh is on sale still currently at Lowe's five bags for ten dollars or if you choose you want one or two bags they are two dollars a piece if you are like me your girl i do go in and i do look for mosh that is already open because why if they're on sale they are dollar a bag don't say i did not tell you that because in another video guys i did so i'm telling you again so yes if a bag is open you just ask they will charge you only one dollar for that bag so yes this afternoon i am going back into lowe's and why because I need more mosh and I'm hoping and praying that I can find four bags for a dollar a piece but if I can't well I will get the five bags for ten dollars <laughs> so guys yes on this on each one of the boxes it did call for three bags of mosh but the first one guys I am gonna add some more mosh into that one when I get some more bags and on the third box guys I have to add some more in that one then um when we move over to the palettes guys to make the platform i am so excited because i'm going to do that i've been sitting here talking to my oldest son of kind of like how i want to do it and get all my measurements and everything together guys but i think when i am totally done i am going to be so happy after the grass is cut everything is put out my diys so like i told you guys we have some diys coming and um yeah this is me finishing up the second one so with this one it used also three but because of the measurements a little bit um shorter than the first one yes the mosh in this one is higher up it's thicker so yes on the first one i am going to add one additional bag of mosh okay guys Whew. Picking up that mosh, no, let me get out of the sun, Lord. Um, picking up that mosh, that took my wind away. And also you can see where the sun is now coming over. It is about 10 minutes after 10 a.m. And I think I did good. Um, I've built two and a half boxes. I got to finish building out one box. Then I'll be ready to start with the pallets. I wanted to do the boxes first. For the simple reason, I will be tying them in to the pallets and it make it much easier to have one done and then do the other. So let me show you the pallets. These are the boxes. Um, so these are the boxes. Don't mind that. Um, the weed eater, um, I'm, I'm going to get that out. That's all I got to say. Um, so these are the boxes. So I would give y'all the measurements to these boxes, um, probably on the screen. Um, this box here is smaller than that box. And this box, remember this is the mint and you see it's gone crazy. It looked like my husband got a watermelon leaf coming up in there again. So I am gonna block this around and put mulch around this also. Then um, I'm gonna go in and make a U and tie all of this in. I put the cardboard down there to kill the grass off as much as possible. So all of these have to come off, take all this cardboard off. So guys, I think I did pretty good. I'm gonna come back out late this afternoon to finish working on this. Um, this is my husband's smoker. And y'all, look at how the bugs enjoying this look they are highly enjoying this oh my gosh yeah so um i think when my husband's smoker i'm not sure where i'm gonna put it yet um i wanted it over here and i i had another idea or something i wanted to do y'all see my camera um it's something else i wanted to do over here but i did not hear anything back from the person that i asked about so um i'm just gonna have his grill it's on wheels and then on these and with the mosh down it will bog down so i got to get four of the 
stepping stones and put it in there. We're going to sit it straight on the stepping stones. So, guys, I have the boxes done. So, the decorating part, of course, that would be the very last video. Hey guys. So, of course, you know, I did two and a half boxes. So it was bothering me. I was sitting there and it said it was just bothering me so bad. If you got the other two boxes, girl, good idea. It, <laughs> the sun is beaming, but you got on your hat. You're not going to be out there long. Your loop is not going to bother you. Get out there and finish the box. And it did, guys, I came out here and finished the box. It's some other things I need to do to the box. And it definitely taught me that I need more wash. So um, let me show y'all and then we're going to end the video for the part you one. You know, I showed you this part, right? And this one wasn't finished. So guys, I came in, I finished it. Oh my goodness. So I need Momash to do that side. I had to do an L board to connect those boards. And this is something that my dad taught me. I got to take these nails out of here, but double joining, honey. My daddy left me with the jewel, honey, honey. Yes, honey. So y'all look at the men. Isn't it so pretty that we don't use it? So this, I'm not sure if that's tomato or if that's watermelon, don't know. It's part one. This is the flower boxes. Those are completely done. It's a lot of DIYs that I will be doing with these planter boxes. Um, I leave in two weeks. So while I'm on vacation, that is when the reveal will happen, while I'm on vacation. So tomorrow, well, late tonight, guys, this is part one. Late tonight, my boys are gonna help me do the pallets. They, they told me, mama, we help you do the pallets. So we will do that, and that will be on the video probably tomorrow, okay? So y'all, I'm pushing videos out now, pushing videos out. So planter boxes, done. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.